welcome to today's podcast review welcome to the day 12 of the 40 days so fast podcast review oof i'm so excited about this like day 12 already all right so in day 12 what, what, what are we going to be learning in day 12 day 12 is actually very day 12 is simple <laughs> okay let me let me let, let's take it one, one step at a time all right so um day 12 is talking about restoring and the characteristics for today is simplicity yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> okay so in today's podcast in today's challenge we're looking at things like these are the things that stood out for me let me share with you it says number one what you believe to be true in the depth of your soul is played out in your mind what you believe to be true in the depth of your soul is played out in your mind so everything your mind is playing out is the things that you believe to be true so and then in essence that um whatever what you believe to be true in the depth of your soul is played out in your mind translated through your will and made evident by your emotions okay all right all right so everything is connected everything is interwoven and you have to be very very intentional with yourself so really you have to ask yourself what do i believe how do i believe how do i believe in the things that i believe what makes me believe in the things that i believe so you really really have to be very very you get so it says that your belief plus your behavior the coherence and they determine how authentic you live and how LD your soul is. So, yeah, ha, you have to be very, very careful and very, very intentional about the things that we believe in. Very, very intentional and powerful, you know. Our soul is intended to receive substance from the Spirit of God and His Word. Yeah, like this really stood out for me because I had to sit down and then think about it. And I said, okay, so uh, what the soul feeds on? So, what is my soul feeding on so that means that if our soul you and i is intentionally and consistently feeding on the spirit of god and is consistently feeding on the word of god that means the things we believe in will be how should i put this now will be governed by the things by the way god sees and the way god thinks and by that way the things that we translate into our will that will become evident in our emotions will be things that have been verified and 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 consolidated by god like it's so important and this is this really this really really like made me sit down made me think and actually ask myself that okay so that means the best kind of life to live is a life that is lived by the spirit of god and the word of god in this kind of time and age that we are in oof, see intentionality has to be something we strive for like you have to be very intentional about a lot of things. You have to, for, for example, I'm currently learning how to be intentional with my focus. The things I focus on part time, I have to not start being intentional with them. And I'm not going to lie to you; it's not been easy, but I'm giving to it. I want to keep learning that. And I think I, I'm also going to be reading a particular book alongside it. Um, I've forgotten the book now. I think it is Deep Work. Yes. I'm going to be reading a book about deep work to be able to understand my focus more. I'm going to be doing that this this particular month. Into May, I'm going to be doing that with each other. And I'm going to be taking a time. Going, like, it's... Okay, don't 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 make me commit myself to doing a book review or to come and teach you on my YouTube channel. Don't let me come. I already committed myself to a video about intentional living. But let's see how it goes. You know me, I love to share. I love I love to share whatever it is I'm learning, I am growing with. I love it a lot. So let's see how it goes. But the cast let's uh, let's 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 come back home. The crystallisis for today is simplicity. And four things stood out for me there. It says number one, God seeks for obedience oh my god <clears throat> like that one really really it, it took a like it took a job with me like god seeks for obedience and you know if you know me very very well you know that one of the things that i live my life by is obedience like I am, I am, I am team. What are you saying? What are you saying exactly? Whatever you are saying, I am here for it. Whatever you are saying, I am here for it. That is, I'm team obedience. 
you say i should do it i will do it that is what <laughs> and i think somebody said to me recently that how 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 has living like that how has it been and i told the person it's not been easy but it's been what why you know the bible sta- he said he said, he said the bible states over and over that it is not sacrifice but obedience that the lord seeks and that obedience is demonstrated in our love work that is it you know i think realizing that to really really start from you know a friend told me um in 2022 is it 2022 yeah may 2022 he told me he said something he said i have never seen anybody doing well and doing great things for god that is not living a life of obedience to god and when the, like when the person said this to me it's almost going to be a year can you imagine it has stayed with me and i think that has been one particular word that has pursued me that has you know made me grounded all through the year there is no great man there's no one doing great things for god truly truly that is not living a life of obedience to god and one of my case studies was you know apostle shagun obaje um ddk cindy trim um Futoi boye oh my god Futoi boye lives a life of obedience like that woman lives and breathes a life of obedience ddk lives and breathes a life of obedience uh, pastor um pastor apostle shegon Baje also lives and breathes a life of obedience like these are people that really stood out for me you know tma also the mrs erod she also lives and breathes a life of obedience so for me this may be resulted and made a resolution with myself that yo that's the best kind of life so let's just stick and let's just stay there let's just stick and let's just stay there you know and then the third thing that stood out for me is be yourself before god for god loves you just as you are like i remember when i read this in 2022 one of the things that stood out that made me understand much more is this particular song jai where you are enough and then it says I will be content in every circumstance you are. Jai. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Oh my God. When I listened to that, that lyrics really stood out for me. I will never be more loved than I am right now. Like, it's not like God is going to, like, in 2023, increase his volume of love. No, he already loves me guaranteed like that one is guaranteed it is established and it is stamped so it is how well and how more i grow to the understanding of that love that shows in my life so god's love is gift to me it is my responsibility to keep discovering to keep seeing to keep building so i I keep opening up so it is the more i look into god's love the more it expands and i see like the way god loves my guy is not just from here like he's not from here like imagine a human being like it's one of the things that really helped me also in my friendships you know i have come to learn that i will love my friends regardless though so i just i love my friends i love my friends it's not about what they do it's not about how they do it it's about me just loving them for who they are and I know it's not saying this is looks it sounds easy but it's not been easy there are times that a friend will just do something to me and then i'll just think about it that there are times i do something to god and god still loves me regardless and i'm just like really i just have to love this person regardless really <laughs> and it's 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 been a mind-blowing and it's been a a, a very very thought-provoking concept for me and i'm not going to lie it's not been easy you know i had to learn how to love people for who they are not for who they show me they are but for who they are if you open your you know i just love you for who you are it's something i'm still learning i'm not saying that i have arrived at it now i'm still learning a bit a bit a bit you know and another thing i had to also learn is that i can't control how somebody reacts to me i can't control that how somebody will say i can't control that but one thing i can control and i can regulate is the way i choose to respond and the way i choose to accept whatever it is they say so i am not so interested in you betraying me or in you harming me there was a time i was working with somebody in my business and the person was like um i i would love to leave and i told her i said i'm happy for you and she was surprised i said because you leaving me 
doesn't reduce or doesn't increase me. You leaving me has nothing to do with me. It is you making that decision for you. And I have to understand and I have to trust that you are able to, you know, make that decision for you. And I say, I love you regardless of it. And I will always be in your corner regardless of it. And she was so surprised I said that to her. I said, because... You have to understand that everybody is somebody. We are all Jesus' children. She gets so. I'm also growing in that aspect. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm also growing. And the last thing I learned from today's challenge is love being yourself. See, I tell I, I say this a lot that I love being me. I love being told who I hear me. I just love, I love my journey. I love how I make my mistakes. I love how I learn from it. I love how I grow. I just love being me. Like, it's so beautiful being me. So far with the things I've been able to do with my YouTube channel, I love how I've been able to take my YouTube channel. And I think this understanding also helps me to embrace my journey, to embrace the way I become things. I become many things to many people. So it has really, really helped me. I love being myself. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not even trying to... I don't want to... No, see, anyhow, anyhow it sounds to you, deal with it. I love me. I love being me. I love what it takes to be me. I love what it takes to, you know, become me. And I look forward to the many, many amazing things I get to become. You know, a friend was asking me re recently that, okay, so a few years to 30, what are the things you would love to achieve before 30? And I was just telling, I said, like, it's just so mind blowing for me. I said, because that version of me, I look at her and I look at the things she has been able to handle, she has been able to go through, she has been able to embrace, she has been able to become. And I am just so excited to see her. I'm so excited to become her, to be, okay, let's see. Okay, I'm ready in my, I'm ready in my terrain. I'm, I'm, let me, let me, let's stop here, guys. Let's stop here, guys. Till I come here with next time. My name is the Global Terrain Academy. Thank you so much for letting me share my journey with you. God bless you.